Hello, this is Hellbent, and this is the second part in a mini-series where I'm going to be showing you how to run programs using hotkeys, close those programs using hot, other hotkeys, and then finally, I'm going to show you how to combine an open and close function into a single hotkey. Okay, so this is part two, where we're actually going to go over how to use a hotkey to close programs. So we'll just jump right into it to keep these tutorials really quick. So we're going to continue on with the same... Uh, line that we've been doing with our hotkey so this time we're going to use the number four and the number five because they're above above and below so the number four will close the paint.net so one will open it four will close it and five will close the Explorer so I'm going to just type in so I got control plus number pad oh and I forgot the number number four I said yes and then what we need to do is type in the line win close comma and now this part is a little bit iffy sometimes sometimes you can use different pieces of information to accomplish the same thing but in other cases and which I found for the Internet Explorer is that uh, some, you actually sometimes need more information. I don't know exactly why. Um, let me give you an example. I had just finished writing this where I had this hotkey to close Internet Explorer. But if I had my task manager open, which is what I'm going to be using to show you how it actually closing the program, so you'll see it once I open it, it'll be here, and then once I close it, it'll disappear. Well, for some reason, with Internet Explorer, with the one piece of information, if I put this up on top, it wouldn't actually close the window that I wanted. So we're going to get around that by adding in extra information to this part here. So our command is when close, and now what we need is... Now I'm going to need to run this script, so I'm going to add in a return. We're not actually going to be running this hotkey just yet, but just in case, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to save this, and I'm going to run both of those two things. So I have control plus number pad 1 should open up paint.net, control plus number pad 2, Internet Explorer. All right, now that I have that, what I need to do is use my active, info, active window info tool. If you don't have the site for auto hotkey script editor, where you can find the same tool is wherever you had installed auto hotkey onto your computer in that folder you'll see an icon that looks exactly like this and beside it it'll say something like AU3 um, spy tool something like that so you're gonna activate that and you'll get this so now what I'm gonna do is let me see which one paint.net's the first one so I'm gonna open up that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two pieces of information. I'm going to take its class. So I'm going to copy this line right here. Now, this paint.net, I don't actually need its class in order for this to work. I can just use the other, the process line. But just to keep it, you know, so that it works every time, I'm going to do both. So beside my win close, I'm going to paste in that its class. And then beside that, I am going to bring this up again. I'm going to copy its process. Okay, and I'm going to paste that in. So there we go. Okay, so that's number pad four out of the way. And now we'll do for the Explorer. So shift six, number pad, and we want the number five. And win close comma and now once again I need my spy tool and this so here we go I'm gonna copy its class and I'm gonna paste that in and then I'm gonna bring it up again and I'm gonna copy its process and now that that's out of the way I can actually get rid of that and I can close this and this all right, so I'm just going to paste in its process, add a return, and I think we are good to go. Let me see. Everything looks okay. All right, so I'm going to save my changes, run the script. I can see 
the script running there, or if I bring up my task manager, it doesn't show it. Okay, because it's a hidden one. So let me see. There we go. It's right there. But let me actually bring it back to that. Uh, fewer details. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit Control 1 to activate, I mean, sorry, Control plus Number Pad 1 to activate Paint.net. And if I look at my task manager, I can see it there now. And then I'm going to hit Control and, what was it, Number Pad 4. So let me pop those back up. Task Manager. All right, so Control, Number Pad 4 closes it. And there it's gone. I'm going to hit Control, Number Pad 2. To open up this, I'm going to open up my task manager so I can see Internet Explorer is going. If I hit Control number pad 5, boom, it's gone. Okay, there we go. That's the end of this. Be sure to come back for part 3 where we're going to, I'm going to show you how to combine the two different hotkeys that we have. So we have one to open it, one to close it. We're actually going to combine those into a single hotkey and use a different command. So if you'd like to see more of these kind of tutorials, be sure to hit that like button and I'll see you on the next one.